I'm telling you, the vice principal had a list that long. Flunking, lying, fighting, wrecking school pro... You can wait until I've finished. Now, the next time the vice principal calls about that one, you'll have to go. After all, he's your son, not mine. The least you can do is Pop, to show... can I speak to you alone for a moment? I got... Don't interrupt. You're in enough trouble as it is. It's your mother's fault he's no good. Letting him run wild. Never caring what he was doing while he was living with her. She did a pretty good job raising me. So it's my fault. Well, our son turned out all right. How do you explain that? If a teenager has extra problems, emotional or social, it's even harder. Kids like this, not wanted by any other group or anyone else much, tend to hang out together. Kids like Joe Martin, he's hardly ever seen his mother sober. Or Fred Hammer, his father's in prison. Mike Kelly, he has to show off all the time, try to get attention. His parents are dead. He lives with his older sister. To her, he's just another mouth to feed in her large family. Harry Jackson gets too much spending money from his people. Money. Never any of their time. And Jerry Phillips, rejected by his stepmother, let down by his father. He's the loneliest of the lot. and violence their only outlet. They're on their way to it. Unless their outlook can be changed. In our city, many men and women are dedicated to changing that outlook. Some give their time and their money to support the work of many organizations and their skilled professional workers. Like Bud Williams, group work specialist with years of intensive training and experience. The schools give him names of potentially delinquent boys. His job is to help these youngsters satisfy their teenage need to belong. To get rid of some of their resentment against the world. And find their place in it. But what do you do first? You get acquainted with them. And that's no cinch. Often it takes a lot of time. A lot of stops at their hangout. These kids haven't had much reason to trust grown-ups. Maybe after weeks of trying, you finally make some progress. The kids show that they notice you. And they've got their own ways to let you know that. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, mister. I really am. Skip it. I've been around. Hey, guys, he's been around. A newsreel. Tell us about a newsreel. Yeah, the eyes and ears of the world. Where you been? Just around, with fellas like you. And with the bad, sir. No, I sponsor a couple of clubs over at the neighborhood youth service. Oh, big deal. Name's Bud Williams. You ever belong to a club? Yeah. They kicked me out. So what? Well, if you had a club of your own, no one could kick you out. That old wreck over there can take you places. Swimming, fights, ball games, hikes. 
And there's a clubhouse. Pool tables, records, ping pong. Got change for a 20, mister? Oh, me? Well, look at all that moolah. Give me a hand. Come on, Come on, Give me a hand. 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 Why don't you kids give that a club idea world? I still say he's a juvie. Nah, he ain't no cop. Say, I heard about those clubs. Some guy told me they have a pretty good time at them. Ah, sometimes. shut up. Come on, I'm dying of thirst. You discuss and evaluate the group with your supervisor. You take advantage of the experience of other group workers. You don't want to fail these kids. You've got to prove that you're one grown-up they can trust. That you mean it when you say to them, I like you, though I don't always like what you do. Get them to believe that, and maybe some of the anger will go out of them. The dangerous, seething hostility. Hi, fellas. Candy bar, Joe. Boy, something sure stinks around here. Sure does stink. <coughs> Must be that skunk again. You guys like baseball? I've got tickets for Friday night. Come on, man. Let's jump over to Gordon Street and start a fight. Yeah, it's too out to fight. I can pick you up after school. We can have hot dogs and stuff in the game. Somebody paid me. I'm shooting a buck. They got a dime on it. I got a quarter here. There's two bits open. I'll be around again. Hey, you, Mike. Where's the dough for them potato chips? Get lost. Slob, I paid for them an hour ago. I saw them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Taking away all my good customers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to call the police. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, go. Go ahead. Go ahead. We can work this out some way. I'm sick and tired of this. If you get these kids on the books, they'll have a record for life. All I want is a dime for them potato chips. That's easy. Okay, Joe? Okay. I'll be seeing you, fellas. Eventually, your patience pays off. They go with you to a playground. But they don't dare play baseball or anything else according to the rules. They have to clown around to cover up their fear of failure. With a skirt, I suppose you think you're so right. good. You don't like, oh, you punk. All right, ditch the knife, Jerry. Try and take it. What for? You'd only have a bigger one tomorrow. You're chicken. Yeah. Cool it, man. Cool it. I still say you're chicken. Look, the only way I want that knife is when you find out you don't need it. You have to be careful how you handle this. You have to be honest and admit the kids did get out of line. But you try to work it so they can leave without losing face. The guys have been kicked out of playgrounds before, but they've never had an adult leave with them. You prove something. You're on their side. You're beginning to measure up in their eyes. Man, we never even got the first base. Well, I guess we'll have to use the clubhouse for our next meeting. What meeting? The regular Friday meeting. Well, if you guys get a better idea. Get this straight. I get in the front seat. Get out of here. They do keep that date the following Friday, and they give the clubhouse the once-over. At first, they're plenty wary, looking for a joker in the setup. If they like anything here, they'll never admit it. 
here. You know they might take a powder any second. And you wait. Not pushing. And you know there's one thing here they might go for. to follow, you get to know the boys pretty well. In many staff conferences, you work on their problems. And you're beginning to understand them better. In time, they give their club a name. A plenty sharp one, too. Giving it a name is a big step forward. Now they've accepted it. They're proud of it. They belong. But that doesn't mean that everything is sweetness and light. What do you think you're doing? Hey, it's still my turn. I'm not taking the rap because you shoved my cue. You hit the cue ball, didn't you? You want to make something of it? All right, go ahead. Why don't you watch where you're going? Hey, cut it out. Uh, drop dead. You gonna let Harry push you around like that? Oh, shut up. Oh, you're chicken. Just like your old man. Who says he's chicken? I do. I got it straight from my sis. Your sis? What does she know about it? She and your old lady's always jawing it up, ain't they? What does that prove? It proves that my sis is right. That your old man is chicken. That's a lie. Oh, yeah. Hit him, Mike. Come on. Let him. All right, take it. Hit him. Oh, what a fight. Hit him again, Mike. Come on. Not I have to hit him. Come on. Hit him. All right, easy, Jerry. Relax. If we carve each other up, pretty soon there won't be any more regals left. Who cares? I swear you're getting to be more of a hoodlum every day. Just look at that shirt. Do you know how much money a shirt costs these days? This son of yours has been fighting again. Look at this shirt. Can I tell you about it, Pop? Look, he's proud of it. Please, Pop. Not now, Jerry. I'm tired. I had a Mike bad Kelly day. said you didn't have the guts to stand up for yourself, so I took a poke at him. That was all right, Poor wasn't it? Poor Mike. You fought a boy who doesn't even have a father. He didn't have any right to say that about you, did he, Pop? Go to your room and get a decent shirt. This minute. Did he, Pop? Did he? Better put on a decent shirt, Jerry. No father, no matter how much he wants peace in his family, can rest easily after getting a look like that from his son. He needs help. You listen. Your questions guide him. Having someone to talk to helps him to see his problem more clearly, to realize he must face up to it. Attendance at meetings has been pretty regular. And you've had the boys out in the station wagon on hikes and to the movies. But underneath it all, there's something more important. The kids are beginning to learn the feeling of friendship and trust toward each other and toward you, an adult. Sometimes the boys are able to talk out their anger and frustration instead of wrecking everything in sight. They take you into their plans. Plans that you're glad to listen to and go along with. They've finally gotten around to thinking of electing officers. Such a customary procedure for a club. And that's what makes it important. It's customary. Pop? Pop? They want me to run for sergeant at arms down at the Regals. Mm, good for you. I've been thinking about that club of his. I'll be late, down at the plant. And you think about it, too. He shouldn't be allowed to associate with that bunch of... Not allowed? But you don't even know any of the guys. See they... how he talks back to me? Those regals were supposed to do him so much good, but it's perfectly obvious to me... We'll have to haven't... talk it over tonight. Tonight? But, Pop, the election's today. You heard what your father said?
And you stay away from that club until we make up our minds. The knife. Always the knife. A poor substitute for understanding, for strength, for love. Mike Kelly for treasure. Come on, you guys, that's me. Come on, Red, raise your hand. All in favor of Harry Jackson for treasure. Hey, come on, man, that's me. Yeah, that takes care of it. You're in. Yeah. Well, that's Thanks, a sure. lousy frame up. Hang with it, Mike. You hang with it. Where you been, punk? Just goofing off. Yeah. Well, you almost missed voting for yourself, stupid. All right. All those in favor of Jerry Phillips for sergeant at arms. One, two, three, four, you're it. Hey, wait just a darn minute. His old lady's gonna yank him out of the club. She told my sis. She's also gonna send him away to live with his grandma. That's a lie. Oh, yeah? I suppose your old man's gonna stop her. He will. I know it. <laughs> That's a laugh. All the Jerry. Don't mess up. Keep out of this. Just keep out of this. Take it easy, son. Are you all right, son? Wow, he was really going to let me have it. This is serious, fellas. Yeah, let's do something. Let's go find him. Let's go. Where did you get that? That's Jerry's equalizer, Mr. Phillips. Oh, Jerry. I'm not putting up with any of these goings on another minute. That son of yours has got to go. Not so fast, Mabel. First, I want to hear what brought this on. She's sending me back to Grandma's. You just bet I am. Jerry's not going to be sent anyplace. He's staying right here. We better go, fellas. Yeah. Yeah. So long, Jerry. Yeah, I'll see you at the clubhouse, Jerry. Well, I like that. Standing up for that hoodlum son of yours after Mabel. what he's done. Mabel, don't you realize? It's not so much Jerry's fault. Now you're blaming me? Please. I'm blaming myself just as much. But from now on, Jerry, everybody in my family gets heard. Where are you going? What can he say? How can he put it into words? That day on the playground, what was it Bud told him? The only way I want that knife is when you find out you don't need it. Jerry and his family weren't the only ones helped that day. All the boys had been affected. And you knew that there was hope in the future.